Well, let's cross then to Marseille, the heart of the uh, southeast region, which has been the most likely to go to the far right. We're going to speak to uh, France 24's Emma James, who joins us from there. Emma, I mean, the far right uh, being kept out here, but how convincing would you say uh, was the result there? More convincing than I think a lot of people were expecting. Um, certainly yesterday, everybody here was saying this race is simply too close to call. Even at the campaign headquarters for Renaud Mousselier, the uh, Republican candidate of the traditionally centre-right uh, party, um, at his headquarters, they were talking about optimism, but it was almost through gritted teeth because you could see they were deeply concerned that this could go against them. Now, one of the things that uh, did appear to be a problem in some areas Areas, is that left-wing voters simply weren't coming out to vote at all. They weren't uh, taking part in what we call the Republican Front here. It's something that happens in France where all of the parties basically work together to try to keep the National Front out of power. Uh, and the National Front, now of course called the National Rally, has never held a regional presidency and this was their big hope to actually make that change. Uh, Marine Le Pen hoping it would really increase the party's legitimacy, uh, making it it more of a, a mainstream option. Um, but Renaud Muselier uh, said it was basically a collective victory. Uh, an alliance of Greens and Socialists had actually dropped out of the race despite getting 17% in the first round. Uh, they initially didn't want to, but they said, we can't play with fire. And they did leave it to be a straight fight between the right wing candidate and the far right national rally. So, Emma, why did the national rally uh, fail so spectacularly? I mean, perhaps some of it's relied on support base just not turning out here? It's an interesting question and one that certainly the National Rally is going to be looking at very carefully. Um, lots of people from the party have been coming out saying that what happened is simply undemocratic. That seems to be the party line. Uh, Terry, Thierry Mariani, who was the far-right candidate here, said that this simply is not abiding by the will of the people. They're quite angry uh, that these parties are working together to basically thwart their attempts to win an election. And Thierry Mariani says if they can't do it on their own, if they have to get together a big uh, combination of parties in order to defeat us, well, surely that's just not right and not fair. Um, but one other thing that Marine Le Pen is going to have to look at very carefully is her drive to make the party more acceptable, more mainstream, less toxic, if you like, um, does seem here, certainly, to have caught the interest of uh, right-wing voters, traditionally right-wing voters, who would normally vote uh, Les Républicaines, um, but it has damaged her base. Uh, people at polling stations here, running the polling stations, saying that the far-right uh, base voters that you can normally rely on to turn out simply weren't doing so uh, because they feel that the party no longer really represents what they're about. Now, Thierry Mariani himself had been a Republican politician, a, a centre-right politician for many, many years, and a lot of people simply don't accept that he is the far-right. Interestingly, he says it's not him who's changed, it is the National Rally Party. So you court traditional right-wing voters and you run the risk of losing your far-right backers. Now, Marine Le Pen has got to work out how she can possibly bridge that gap. Emma, thanks very much. Emma James, uh, across one, they're talking to us uh, from Marseille.